Hey, welcome back explorers. Today we're in another abandoned house. This one behind me here. Beautiful raised brick bungalow. It's built in the 70s. It's just sitting here abandoned. This driveway is so overgrown. The, the, the grass is overgrown. Uh, this house sits on about six acres that's going to be developed. The developer bought up all the land around here and they're eventually going to tear this house down, which is too bad. But it's just been sitting here for, for quite a, quite some time now. Definitely check it out today. And I hope you guys are ready, because I'm ready to go. So let's go. This place is pretty big. Wow. Well, the roof looks good still, so uh, a little bit of shingles ripped up there. But uh, this place looks pretty good. Okay, so there's two little areas in this house. So it looks like this is like a basement apartment. This is a kitchen upstairs as well. Looks like someone broke the window there. Looks like we got a Chinese calendar 2018 so maybe that's when these people left what is this oh this is like a DVD player so yeah they must have finished the basement and put a basement apartment in second income or family members sometimes the family members move in grandparents or this is some kind of cold cellar Clean fridge. Look at the box of pills here. It's all kinds of pills. It's not usually good to leave those around in an abandoned house. A lot of the times the squatters will come in here and move right in. They clearly take those sell them or Ooh, look at that. That's usually caused by the iron in the water. That's crazy. Oh, we got another bathroom here. So yeah, you could tell. See, these are the, they filled this in. So they this is where the stairs were, 
we'll go upstairs in a minute and they filled that in that was probably open originally mostly just junk in here we get a walker so yeah maybe an elderly person lived in the basement More pills. There's like empty pills everywhere. Let's just say, Dear Kevin, or Calvin, it's Santa Claus. I know you wanted a 3DS for Christmas, but when I was delivering your present, it fell out of my sled. It crashed to the ground. It broken. I am so sorry, Kevin. Have a good Christmas from Santa Claus. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's a sad letter. Oh. That's empty. I wonder what that says. Christmas card. Somebody painted a nice picture there. Looks like they didn't finish it. stuff and just left it all behind. There's another painting there. Sexty check. Whatever that is. Leggings. Assuming this is the garage. Yep. All kinds of stuff in here. It's a nice piece of furniture there. It's all wrapped up, but I decided to leave it. Looks like a desk with a TV on top. Whatever it is. Well, I know what that is. That's like a that breaks windows. Usually you have these in your car. There's a little blade there at the bottom. Cuts your seatbelt in case of emergency. And that you just tap that on your glass. And it just shatters it. 
good if you ever fall in the lake, drive your car in the lake. There's not much going on in here, just a bunch of junk. More paintings. Yeah, that's pretty nice. There's a loft up here. Maybe I'll take a look, see if there's anything up there. No, nothing. Okay, let's go. Let's go upstairs, take a look. There's a whole, uh, whole nother floor here. This is a raised bungalow. I like the wall. I like there's moisture in the wall, so it's really cold out today. So it's like freezing. Oh yeah, you can see. They totally filled this wall in. Oh wow. Beautiful room, nice fireplace. I'm pretty sure that's real, I don't think it's gas. Yeah, that's a real fireplace. Oh, look at this. There's little capsules in there, it looks like little notes. Maybe I'll read a couple. Yeah, there's little notes in here. That's kind of neat. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's try another one. What does this say? Hug something. Oh, that's nice. A beautiful backyard. Yeah, it's just on about five acres of land. It's clearly overgrown. They haven't cut the grass here in quite some time. Looks like there's a shed back there. Looks like a dog, a dog pen. It's a nice little sunroom. This is where I'd be sitting, having my morning coffee for sure. I'd open up all these blinds. So you get a nice view of the forest. There you go, coffee maker. Right in here. I don't think it's insulated. It's probably just a three season room. Oh, look at this. These are pretty expensive back in the day. So you press a button and it's all electric and that it's like electric blinds that will come right down and cover the door. It's good for security and for to block the sun. But nothing works here. The power is cut. The meter on the house has been removed. I don't know if I told you guys a story. I told the story in another video of mine, but I was in an abandoned house and I opened up a big coffee pot, like an empty, it was empty. It didn't have coffee in it, but it was full of marijuana. I popped the lid open and it was just full. Um, I'm not too sure if the homeowners forgot about it 
But that's where they store their stash, I guess, and they totally forgot about it. Left it behind. I don't smoke the stuff, so I left it. Somebody else probably took it. Look at the pills here. Pills everywhere. And what do we got? We got a thermometer. That's where the mice hang out. Yeah. And the mice has definitely moved in here. No fridge, we can't look at the fridge. No appliances up here. I can feel a breeze up here. <laughs> Somebody must have left the window open. Oh, look at these doorknobs. That is unbelievable. This house was built in the 70s, but they added these doorknobs. That is amazing. It works too. I'm not too sure if this is like a remake or these are vintage. But I think they're vintage. That's pretty neat. I've never seen that before. Even has a key. Rarely you find the key for these things. They just get lost. Oh, look, there's a mouse. I'm surprised this is not frozen. Maybe there's a chemical in there because it's minus 20 outside right now. It's freezing. Giant bed. This one's even got the padding on the headboard just in case, you know, you might hit your head there one night. When the things get a little freaky. Oh yeah, I forgot some vandalism here. Well, there's that open window. Some old parquet flooring, definitely 70s, very popular in the 70s. Ooh, little orange that is. That is unbelievable. Wow, that is crazy. is orange so the sun's blaring in here Make, making everything orange
see we got another dog pen here. Oh, it's just full of crap. I can't even open the door. We got this old shed here. Nothing much in here, I don't think. A couple of van seats. That's about it. Nothing too exciting. We got a dog pen here. They probably had some big dogs. Let's go in here. Hopefully they're not in here. I don't want to get bitten in the butt. Oh, they just keep wood in here. That's about it. Oh yeah, they just fill it full of wood. Nothing. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. It's pretty nice. Um, it was built in the 70s, so definitely showed that inside. But this place is pretty nice. I love raised bungalows. I own one myself. Uh, there was a basement apartment, so we got to check out both levels. Uh, I'm glad it was not too vandalized yet. I'm glad I had a chance to check it out. So definitely see you guys in the next explore.